So the information you need to find the right motor for your application is typically the horsepower, RPM, frame size, mounting, and voltage. Now what do those things mean and where do I find them? So every motor has a name tag associated with it. And on the name tag, we'll, you'll find all the information required. Uh, it tells you everything about the motor from an electrical standpoint as well as a physical standpoint. So every motor has a nameplate either on the top. Um, sometimes they're located like this one, just above the connection box. They'll have an auxiliary tag. Others, due to the mounting uh, conditions, the nameplate will be underneath. Sometimes you just have to look a little harder, clean off some of the dust, and try and find the nameplate for your motor. Uh, so the terms we talked about, horsepower, RPM, voltage, what do those mean and where do I find them on the nameplate? So what is horsepower? Horsepower is a unit of measure that we use for motors. Uh, it basically relates to the work that they can accomplish. The larger the horsepower, the more work that motor can produce. RPM is related to revolutions per minute, so how fast your motor turns. The standards in the industry are 900, 1200, 1800, and 3600 RPM. There are variations, but for the most part, that's what all motors or categories are rated in for revolutions per minute. Uh, frame size talks about the physical dimensions of the motor, so it relates to the shaft size, shaft length, the height, center distance from the floor to the center distance of the shaft. It talks about the, the overall frame, so the foot pattern mounting. The, if, it, if there is a seat face like this motor, the seat face mounting. Um, and it's just a standard in the industry so that as long as I get a motor with a, say a 215 T-frame, I know it's gonna have uh, inch and an eighth shaft, it's gonna have mounting holes at this distance, <clears throat> at this length apart. So it's just standardized the industry, so it doesn't matter which manufacturer or which brand of motor you buy. If it's in the right frame, it will fit. Uh, the next one is talking about enclosure. So there's two main types of enclosures for motors. We have totally enclosed fan cooled. As you can see, there's no gaps in the frame for any airflow to get in. There's just a fan on the back that blows air over the frame. Or there's open drip proof. So if you look at this motor, there's holes in the frame. The airflow actually flows through the winding to help cool the motor off. Uh, and voltage. Voltage obviously relates to the power coming into your, the power supply to your motor. Uh, inside this spec, we also have to look at the phase. So there's typically two main types of phase for motors, single phase and three phase. Uh, most homeowners, uh, furnace motors, farm duty motors are all single phase. Industry typically goes to three phase. And the last item is mounting. So in all of our descriptions, uh, we have mounting, whether it's a C-face mount, so this would bolt straight into say a pump or a gearbox, or if it's a rigid mount, which just uses the feet of the motor and bolts to a, a base of some sort. So once we have these six criteria, we can actively look for the motor that we require. So if we hop on the website, you can see in our search box we have, we have those criteria. Once you enter them, your result will pop up and you can go from there and decide whether you want a little more expensive motor, a little less expensive motor, um, if you need an explosion proof say, or an IEEE for some applications. All the options will come up and you can uh, do your choice from there.